All right, guys, let's get into a reading for today. Friendly reminder, Patreon gets to see all of these readings first, as well as the extendeds and my passionate readings. If you want to check those out, you can find it down below. I also have do it at your own pace courses, tarot, manifestation, energy shifting sessions. And then I also have a second channel that has all signs, including collectives, Pisces readings, all kinds of things. You can find all of that down below in the comments or description, okay? Anything that I mentioned. So we're gonna do a since you've been gone reading. And I feel like something here where this person could be trying to keep to their self right now, I feel like this person is asking I'm seeing the word purpose really big. So I feel like they could be asking themselves, what was the purpose of your guys' dynamic and what is their purpose? I don't know if some of you have ever been there, but I feel like this person is at a place where they're like, why am I here? What am I doing? What does my life mean? For some of you, this person's hit rock bottom is kind of what I'm getting. There has been a lesson learned energy here and this person's feeling like they want to be spontaneous is what I'm, I'm picking up on. Now that could include you or that could not. So we have trust coming out sideways. There could be an energy here where someone, one of you or both of you, could be lacking trust in this connection. Trusting that one another is going to protect the other's heart. And that could be because of things that's happened. Okay, someone's blooming. Somebody could be getting in touch with their spontaneous side. This could be you. This could be the person that we're talking about. Some of you are, are dating. So there's an energy here of since you've been gone, since you guys have been separated, both of you have maybe seen that there's been lack of trust here. And there could be an energy here where it could be you, Pisces, it could be them, but one of you is really blooming. One of you is getting to a place where you're, you're starting to be a lot more spontaneous. You're starting to really enjoy the moment and not really think too much about tomorrow because you know tomorrow is not promised. You could be 15 years old. That does not mean you're going to wake up tomorrow. And it, it, it sucks, but that is the cold, hard truth. <clears throat> I feel like somebody here... There's a flirting energy. I'm going to go out on a limb because I'm feeling it that this person wants to come in and date you, court you, play, have some sort of fun. I feel like this person's wanting to lighten up their life because I do get, I heard they have a lot of stressors is what I heard. Okay, so what was the past energy in this connection? Let's not take that because I think I flipped that on accident. Where'd that go? Okay, so there was lack of a love offer. Yeah, someone was not planning for the future. There could have even been a sense of discontentment with the offer that you gave them. Someone could have not accepted an offer. There was a lot of passion, a lot of fun, a lot of chemistry. Maybe someone took a leap um, too soon, too early. Maybe one of you had more faith than you should have because maybe there was an energy here where... Something was off. Oh, what did I say? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? See, that's what I'm saying. Seven of swords, five of wands. That can be a little bit of this person. Are, are, this person could have always started arguments or drama with you. You could have been like, why are you, why are you making this harder than it needs to be? What's wrong? Nothing. And you're like, okay, um, whatever. That could have been the past energy here with this person where you could have took a leap on this person and you really wanted to make something work that they could have been in a place in their life where they weren't planning for the future and they were not going to accept an offer. Now, here's the funny part. They entertained you is what I'm getting. They entertained you, which could have definitely gave you the wrong impression. <clears throat> there was passion. There was fun. There was chemistry, but there was a lack of of an emotional offer. Their emotional offer was more of like a sippy cup offer. Like here, here's a little bit. Hmm. It was like enough to help your thirst, but it left you wanting more is what I'm getting. They left you wanting more. So what is the overall energy now? So this is going to be the energy that they're in now since, since you've been gone. Feeling like this person blew their chance. I am hearing the Kelly Clarkson song going off. 
You could be at a place where you're just trying to keep this person out of your mind. This person could be having a hard time keeping you out of their mind, though. Yeah, there's lack of friendship, lack of collaboration. We're not speaking. We don't, I'm hearing the song, um, we don't talk anymore. Yeah, we don't, we don't talk anymore. I'm hearing that song. Some of you could have recently found or they're going to hear in the upcoming future that you have found someone that has amazing potential. And in their mind, it's going to be like, oh, my God, you did meet the one that you've always wanted. And I feel like that's going to mentally, I feel like it's going to mentally harm them because I feel like they don't really want to know what's going on in your love life. I would even go as far to say that some of you, this person wanted to play games in the past, but they knew without a doubt that they didn't really want a future, but they were really interested in you. And since there's been an energy here of you guys separating, you've been blooming. And I feel like you've lost faith in this connection where they've never had faith in this connection. And that's why you felt like they were playing games with you. And you're just kind of like, mm, it's just really, it, it sucks that you couldn't take this opportunity but it just kind of is what it is. And now I feel like this person feels that they can't get you off their mind. And I'm seeing a green light. So they're ready to go. Overall energy for how they want to approach you. <clears throat> the moon. So they definitely want to have a conversation. About making some sort of choice. It could be a choice about balancing or healing this. This could be coming in in divine timing. There could have been something here this person needed to learn. <clears throat> the only control this person's had is holding back communication. So they have really remained tight when it comes to what they're going to say to you and speak to you. Because that was their control. And I feel like they're getting out of that energy. But again, it's an energy of kind of game playing. And I don't feel like this person necessarily seen that they were playing games. But it is an energy here of, oh, you don't text me back? Okay, well, I'm going to make you wait for five minutes too. Um, just not taking you seriously is kind of what I'm getting. This person didn't take you serious. How is this person viewing you now since there's been a separation? How is this person viewing you now since there's been a separation? I just heard you're a diamond and I've been comparing you to stones. You're a diamond and I've been comparing you to stones. That's what I heard. Okay. How are they viewing you now? <clears throat> Woo. How are they viewing you now? They could view you as someone who has a little bit of anxious energy when it goes to walking away from them. There could be an energy here. Interesting. Okay, so they could view you as someone who's really loving and giving, but someone who has a hard time expressing their emotions. Um, they view you as someone who's really grounded and balanced, someone who knows their worth and someone who's moving forward. But they also view you as someone who's constantly left out in the cold and you don't feel like you're ever getting what you deserve. So it's interesting because that's how they view you. But remember, in the future, whether it's near future or far future, this person's going to hear about you with someone else. And there is going to be an energy here where they're going to know that they know that they know that it is the one for you. But right now they're seeing you as someone who's like, I'm not getting what I want. I'm not getting what I need. I'm left out in the cold. I'm abandoned. But what that's doing is giving you the power to manifest what you've always deserved. And manifestation is not only energy, but it's action. And in order to make changes, we have to get so uncomfortable with us not getting what we want that we're over it, over it, over it. And even if we get what we want, it's unsatisfying. And I feel like that's what's happened here. Even if this person come in on a bended knee and was like, listen, I love you more than life itself. You would look at them and go, huh? What? I don't feel like you would believe them. <clears throat> But it's interesting because I feel like their karma is going to be that they want to come in and give an apology and like re-spark this fire. And what they're going to recognize is that, or what they're going to find out is that this is done. You've completely put an ending. This could be someone who's going to want to come in and be your friend. They're going to want to teamwork, collaborate, 
be a team player. And I feel like you are going to be like, <laughs> it's a little too late for you to be a team player. You're blooming though. But okay, so what have they been going through since you guys have been separated? There's been an unbalanced energy here. They've been losing control. They, I feel like they've been really stuck in their ego. There could be a very childlike, immature energy here. They could have had a baby just because I thought it, so I'm going to say it. This person's been falling is what I just heard. Kind of like a trust fall, but nobody's behind you. And there's something inside of their self that they're needing to recognize, but something here about this person having to hit rock bottom before they reevaluate is sticking out to me. This person's having to hit rock bottom because they're not reevaluating their self, their circumstances. There's something inside of them that they're needing to heal. And remember, they're looking at you like this lonely little duck. But what they're not recognizing is that you're not lonely. You're taking action. But maybe you're just not showing them the action that you're taking. They want to say something to you. But while you guys have been separated, there's been an energy here of them being immature. Them being, I feel like this is the kind of person who has a tendency to say one thing but do another. This is someone who's a sweet talker. This is someone who, in the morning when you get up, they tell you all those amazing things. Yeah, tonight me and you are going to be together. Tonight I'm going to do this for you. And then by night time, they're flaking because they don't necessarily, they're not strong. They're not structured is really what I'm getting. And that's that immaturity setting in. It's like this person's got to learn that their word is everything that they have. Who are you if you can't follow through with your word and be who you say that you are? I feel like this person has an illusion on how you perceive them, if I'm going to just be direct and honest. This is someone that you've not had a good run with. This is someone that, and if you want to put in the comments, no, I'm still in love with him or her, this ain't your reading, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there. But I feel like this is someone you've had a hard run with. And yeah, I feel like you're over it. Give me more for what's been happening with them. I feel like this person's really stressed out. My, I started rubbing my chest. So I feel like this person could be having a lot of chest pain. This person's juggling here. Since you've been gone, they've been wondering whether or not they're as stable, grounded, and confident as they think that they are. There's also an energy here where they could be unsure if they want to be single anymore. Indecisive energy. Yeah, see, we have an energy here of divine timing, wanting to possibly complete some sort of cycle. So, this person's been indulging. This person... The Nine of Cups can be temporary short fulfillments. It can be an energy where you get what you want that night, but the next morning you're like, ooh, did I really want that? So since you've been gone, this person, I feel like they've had a false confidence is kind of what I'm getting. A false confidence. In divine timing, they're going to level up, but I feel like their level up could come through some sense of stability. There could be a cycle being completed, and then they could want to approach you to invest. But then I see you evaluating this deep love. How deep is it? What does this mean to me? Is it deep enough for me to actually give in to this? Hmm. Wanting to have the strength to choose a path to invest, but feeling really confused. Knowing you're loving, caring, and giving, but also knowing you could be in a self-imposed prison when it comes to communicating and speaking to them. Again, you see, <laughs> I just heard you see through this person's shenanigans. Like you, you know as you know as you know that this person could definitely have a tendency to play games with you or act like you don't know who they are, how they are. I don't want to say this person plays you as a fool because I don't really necessarily feel that's true, but it's an energy of if I can get my way and it work in my benefit and me make you think you don't know what you're thinking about or talking about, I'm going to do that. Okay, since you've been gone, what else have they been through? What else has been happening since this separation? Transformation. Very guarded energy when it comes to them opening up to new self. Okay, they're really guarded when it comes to them opening up to a new way of self. Their new self 
is what I was trying to get out. This person, since you've been gone, their stability has crumbled. Again, there's a false, there's a falseness when it comes to them being really confident at where they are and in their abundance. This person, I don't feel like wants you to know that since you guys have separated, um, things have really shattered in their life. They're, they're really hiding things. They're really not understanding what they're supposed to learn from this. They're going through a season where everything's crumbling so they can rise again. But they're feeling really... This is someone who's ego-driven. And that isn't always necessarily a bad thing. This is someone who's really prideful. So much so... They don't want anyone to see their darkest days. They don't want anyone to know that they have dark days. I feel like this person has a lot of secrets. I feel like a lot has really transpired since you guys have separated. And I feel like you're getting better days. This person would kill for the days that you have. For the peace that you have right now. But I feel like the reason you didn't have peace is because they were in your life. Is what I'm I'm going to just be honest with you. And I really feel like you knew that you couldn't trust this person. They could also be seeing you as someone who's maybe worried or anxious about this coming back together. Feeling like you've made a final decision on this. And your decision is to not work and put in the effort. Feeling like you've moved far past this and you don't want them anymore is kind of where they're at. At one point, you would have accepted their mess and their lack then. Their, it was like a sense of lack of enthusiasm. In, mm, shit. A sense? They lacked enthusiasm when it comes to giving to you. I even would say that this person's communication skills were completely whack. I feel like this person, again, there's a trust fall energy here where they fell flat on their face, wishing that you would have been there to catch them when they fell, but realizing that they didn't want you there at one point is really what I'm getting. And now they're wanting to balance and heal this by making a choice to come towards you, but they feel like you're not going to put in the teamwork. They could have really been hiding something from you. Something that they could have done out of a place. They could have really made a real, okay. This person could have made a really bad decision and they don't want you to know that they made a bad decision. They could have to be at a place where they're swallowing the karma, the, whatever decision this person made, there's backlash, there's drama. There's a sense of, I'm so ashamed of myself, I know you will be too. And I don't want you to know what I'm hiding because I knew I shouldn't have done it. I knew it was a bad choice. I knew better, but I still did it. And I don't want you to see that side of me. Interesting, I'm hearing the song, I no longer entertain him. I don't know what I was thinking. Interesting, that's what I'm getting. What are they feeling in their heart for you? They're wanting to collaborate, but there is a lack of choosing a path or direction when it comes to coming in and seeing if you'll work with them. They're looking at this from a very practical and logical standpoint. They could be in a place where they're trying to manifest you back in, but not, again, taking the action. Because the two of fire is choosing a path or a direction. Coming out sideways is telling me that they're not choosing a path or a direction, which is why they're not getting any truth, clarity, or answers. So they want to come in and have teamwork with you, but they're feeling really sad and disappointed. Again, you don't trust this person is what I'm getting. But since you've been gone, since you've been separated, they're understanding. They took you for granted. I'm just going to be honest. They took you for granted. You decided to become the change that you needed to see. This person really wants to reunite with you. That's their ultimate goal. This person feels like you're their true love. 
but they also feel like you have options. I feel like that makes them really insecure. This person could be reaching out here in the next few weeks, few months, wanting some sort of fresh start. Um, I feel, I'm going to be honest, I feel like this person has a tendency to get stuck between fantasy and reality. You also feel like this person lacks staying power is honestly what I'm getting as well. I feel like you, you see that this person doesn't necessarily have what it takes to show you that they're going to be there for you. Okay, hold on. Let's see what they're going to, what would, what do they want to say to you? I'm hearing that, that Instagram reel or TikTok reel song. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. So there could be a conversation that's going to be had where one of you is just going to say it. You know, let's be honest. Let's be real. I've never been able to count on you. You haven't showed up. And yeah, we've been separated, but there's still an energy here of, but you don't tell me everything. And until you're willing to come in and be honest, we have nowhere to take this. Yeah, I see life differently. Just come out sideways. So that kind of worries me um, because I do feel like, again, this person's at a place where they're not really taking action like they need to be. Yeah, but they're not over you. Feeling like you're the love of their life. I'm just going to be honest with you. Since you've been gone, they're recognizing you. They're regretting not valuing you. But there's an energy here of you not wanting to put in the effort. Oh, look. I know I messed everything up. They know that they let you down. They know that they let you down. What was this person supposed to learn in this connection between you two? What was this person supposed to learn? What was this, what was this person supposed to learn? Something here about a new beginning, truth, clarity. Maybe they didn't want to see that they weren't putting in the effort and the work. Maybe this person was taking for granted the fact that you continue to love them when they weren't showing up. And once you finally put your foot down, they realized that a new beginning was less likely to happen. Something here about balance and healing. This person could have needed to balance something in their life or even heal. This person could have not wanted to balance this connection out until it's too late. What else, do, what else were they supposed to learn here? There's also an energy here where they could have needed to balance the dark side of them and the light side of them. And they could have really put that on you. You need to help me do this. This is also your responsibility. And I feel like you really just got to a point where you detached your energy. Because I feel like you felt that you were giving more than this person was willing to give. And I feel like it was exhausting. Not being a team player. Not putting in the effort. Not putting in the work. Feeling like you're really attractive. Feeling like you're going to have to choose a path or direction. Wanting to communicate. Wanting to open up about some sense of regret. See, that's what I'm saying. They want to tell you that they regret everything. What do they think this is going to change? If they tell you that they regret everything. They think it, in your mind it would be a message of good news and there would be major shifts, changes, and transformation. This person feels like if they come in and put their tail in between their legs and say, listen, I'm not over you. I'm trying to become the best version of myself that I can. I know I messed everything up. I know I ruined everything. But it's like, it's interesting because I just heard they think you have unlimitless forgiveness. What is your reaction going to be? The sun in the reverse. You're going to have the strength and the courage to... I feel like you're going to give truth and clarity, but I feel like the truth and clarity isn't going to make them happy. The nine of pentacles, I feel like you're going to end up staying single. I feel like you feel more abundant without them than you did with them. I would even go as far for some of you to say that you feel happier now than you did with them. Yep, nine of wands, and you're not willing to go back. You understand that this could have definitely wounded you. For some of you, there's nine. Nine years, this could have been a nine-year cycle. Nine months, nine weeks. This person or this could be happening in nine. Nine days, nine weeks, nine months, or the ninth month. 
whatever this was defeated you and you're understanding that yes you have a journey still ahead of you but you're not willing to make that journey harder than it needs to be that's literally as simple as it gets and i feel like you are at a place where you're making a head over heart decision and that's all we got to say about that for some of you you're going to try to put this decision off as long as you can until you absolutely have to give an answer three of wands you're waiting for your ships to come in you're waiting for your ships to come in. You want victory. You want success. There's something here about you've been manifesting something. You've been putting in the time, the energy, the effort. Your heart knows that what you've been yearning for, wanting, and expecting from someone is possible and it's coming towards you. But you also know that if you let this person get in the way just because they have regrets, it could keep you from something beautiful. See, that's what I'm saying. Something unexpected. Re reflection coming in. I feel like this person gives you a headache. I feel like this person, there's going to be a cycle here completed where I feel like this person's going to have to realize that they made their bed and they have to lay in it. And it's going to take them time to maybe get over you and really let this go because I still feel like this person really thought. I'm saying it again, that you had unlimitless forgiveness. And I feel like this person is recognizing you're really done. You are really done. One more. How are they feeling? I wish we could go back. See? They're still in love with you. Wanting to feel the way that they felt when they were with you. Okay, we're going to leave that here, Pisces. Have a blessed day.